Our overall goal is to translate genomic knowledge to clinical tools for better management of pancreatic cancer patients. With this in mind, our pancreatic cancer genomic research includes three major components. First, for patients with resectable tumors, we can sequence their cancers. After their tumors have been resected and examined for diagnosis, excess tissue of the resected tumors will be purified for cancer DNA sequencing. In parallel, we collect peripheral blood samples from the same patient to provide normal DNAs. Next, we sequence the cancer genome and the normal genome separately. Then we compare the two results to identify genetic changes that are specific to the cancer. Because genes are the instructions for the proteins made in cells, the changes in genes will lead to changes in the cell signaling pathways and processes. Our goal is twofold. One goal is to identify therapies that target the specific mutations in a patient's tumor. A second goal is to develop early detection tests. Pancreatic cancers are usually detected when they are advanced and the survival rate is very low. These cancers have been growing for some time undetected. Our goal is to develop a blood test that detects mutations derived from pancreatic cancer cells before the development of symptoms. Early detection has the chance to significantly reduce cancer deaths. Secondly, we can sequence the DNA from cysts. For patients with pancreatic cysts, minimally invasive procedures like endoscopic ultrasound with fine needle aspiration biopsy can be used to sample cyst fluid. This cyst fluid will contain cells and DNA set from the cyst wall. The DNA molecules in the cyst fluid will then be purified and sequenced to help us categorize the cyst type and, and therefore design the best treatment for that patient. Third, we can sequence the DNA from family members of patients with pancreatic cancer. By doing this, we can determine if they inherited genes that predispose them to cancer. Just as we inherit our eye and hair colors from our pa parents, so do we so so do some people inherit a mutation that increases their risk of developing cancer. We can find these mutations by sequencing. Once a mutation is identified in a family, all family members can be checked for, the, for its presence. Most family members will not have the mutation, which would be a relief. Family members with the mutation will then be managed appropriately before the manifestations of the disease.